Radio V. Radio in TV. Radio in TV. Profiles in Comedy is the funny new show brought to you by T Radio V. Shot live at Tommy T's Showroom and Steakhouse in San Francisco. Every week, the nation's best up-and-coming comedians will keep you laughing with fresh new routines and hilarious takes on society. You hipster kids look all the fucking same. You think you're special, but you're not. You walk around in your little tight pants, right? Little ironic t-shirt, little sideways Hitler haircut. They'll keep you coming back for more. Check out these funny people. Without further ado, for the gentleman, Mr. Kasim Bentley, ladies and gentlemen. What's up? Give it up for me, all the time. Al Jarreau, people. Al Jarreau. There you go, people. Oh, my God. It's all jokes. Mostly forehead, but all jokes. So, people. What's going on? You guys doing good? There's a lot of white people. This shit, this shit feels like court. All right. Well, let's do this shit right now. Got a good crowd here. How you doing, sir? You look like a white genie with your arms folded right now. You doing good right now? Mr. Clean at 60. What's going on, man? You doing good? You're looking at me like, why is Forrest Whitaker doing stand-up comedy? I swear to God, he was a king of Scotland. His kid, career went on the skids. But then, you got your beautiful wife here. Look at you. God, you're cute. Why are you with this guy? Jesus Christ, right now. How long have you guys been together? Uh, too long. Too long. Give it up for almost divorced. People, almost divorced. Put one out and then the Lord is off. How long have you been together? 33 years. Give it up, you bunch of assholes. 33 years. You're still together and smiling, somebody's cheating, all right? I'm gonna say you, because you look the other way. I like seeing uh, 33 years, that's like 80 years for black people, you know what I mean? That's like, fuck your game, that's like 200, you know what I mean? Some shit. But I don't like it when I watch like when white people get divorced. White, white people, you know the crazy thing about it is, is like, um, when people get married, it's a, it's a horrible thing. Because, you know, the, the, you know he's, the men die sooner than women. You know what I mean? And marriage just increases that by like 20%. You know what I mean? And the thing about, and I hate it when the white people, like when a man dies, white man dies, nobody cares. You know what I mean? When a white woman dies, it, the whole community goes in shock. You know what I mean? I used to go to white school, so I would say, uh, you hear Miss Johnson died? Oh my God, it's so sad. <laughs> I can't, I don't know, how old was she? She was 63, oh my God. Hey, did you hear Mr. Johnson died? You know he eats much steak. You know what I mean? And that's just bullshit. That's what I don't get. I don't give it, man. But I'm black, so I'm gonna be dead at like 50, so I should be like SSI now. You know what I mean? We only live a long time. But that's why, but I waste a lot of time. I waste a lot of time in my life. Like today, I was just on Facebook. You know what I mean? Mark Zuckerberg, he can go fuck himself, because he got me, right? Gets there, I was on Facebook all day, and I don't read white people's posts, you know what I mean? Because it gets too optimistic, like you, buddy. You look, you're all nice and sweet, you know what I mean? You know, you look at you, you look like you just crap started us. You know what I mean? You're a nice guy. Oh, you, buddy. 14, what do you got to post about? Like, I got all A's, you know what I mean? I got a poet in math class, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? You won't go down. I read black people's posts, because black people's posts on Facebook are hilarious. They're just like rap music, a bunch of words, no real content, nothing, right? I, I can tell you like this, because today I saw a post, a friend Don Trill, real, this is real. He posted today, 2011 wasn't shit, motherfucker, but 2012 is going to be all mine. Hashtag swag. You know what I mean? Because he's black, got a bunch of likes, a bunch of comments. I got a chick. I'm a Christian, so I had to tell the truth. So I was like, uh, look, Don Trail, you have three baby mamas, four kids, you don't know your daddy, and you would get shot. 2012 is not going to be your year, right? And then whatever, people. I don't like it. How are you doing, Filipino lady? You doing good? I can tell. Oh, she, I can tell. She, I saw the handbag. I knew she was Filipino. You guys love. You guys love those fake handbags. I don't know. Either that, or you just made it yourself. I don't know what it is about you guys. You guys just getting up in the morning, just cutting and sewing all that stuff. I know Filipinos. You guys, I dated one for a year, right? But she's a black. Like, oh, well, don't move that stuff. No. Don't, don't move that. She was like a little. They're like little Ewoks, angry Ewoks. And I dated her. And the thing about Filipinos. 
Filipinos is that you guys are the, you guys don't know this, but you guys are the Negroes of Asians. You know what I mean? Y'all are dark, you dance all the time, you got high blood pressure, you know that kind of stuff? You're wearing Nike, you just say nigga all the time. It's crazy shit, right? And I dated one and she was Ilocano, and that's Filipino for crazy bitch. I am. <laughs> He knows, but don't get the kiss on me. I got, I got warrants. Uh, and, 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 and child support. And, uh, and, uh, and uh, I did it, and you guys understand it. Filipinos act like black people all the damn day, like they're getting paid for it, you know what I mean? And she would act like a ratchety black chick, but talk with her hands, you know what I mean? Always punctuate her words. Like I can, uh, I can I put them at home late from a gig, and she's like, where would you act with your monkey looking ass? You know what I mean? Hold on, chick, hold on. All right? I just bought you Charlie B, bitch. Why are you acting like that? You know what I mean? The only restaurant with her mascot's an insect. You know what I mean? Like, that's yeah, horrible. But then I had to break up with her, because she was about girl high. You about like, four foot eight or something with heels on like that. <laughs> and I, I came home late, four in the morning, you know, covered in glitter, because I was in the strip club. I, and I was coming there, and uh, she was just all that, where you at with your monkey ass? You know, I was like, hold on. Uh, I was like, I was at a party. Uh, and uh, she gets like, you know, mad at me, and I was like, look, um, I'm tired of this. Uh, I, cause I try to break up with like a white person, like, this is not working out. And I, and I, uh, I feel unsafe, all right? And she's just like, and she's like, well, get out! But you tell me that, right? And so I leave, and I look over the window, and she's like, pan them on, you know what? You know what I mean? And I was like, oh shit, this bitch is crazy, right? But I left my keys in her place. So I couldn't go back in there, cause she's still like, you know, all this shit, right? So I waited outside for like three hours, right? My homeboy came, and he's like, man, you about to go in there, man, because I can't stay out here, you know what I mean? So I sneak up, she left the door unlocked, I didn't know this. So, so I sneak up the stairs, thinking that I was going to be safe. I get to the top of the stairs. Uh, she greets me by hitting me with a pan. <laughs> yeah, laugh it up! Yeah, you think it's not cute, all right? It wasn't like a cookie sheet or like a little omelet one. She hit me with a ch uh, the, the pan she fried chicken in, which I thought was racist, right? So, and it was a movie of green, so I was crumbling down the stairs. I wake up, the fucking cops are over me. One cop's like, that's true, it's more chicken. And I and I got scared. I ran the fuck out of Daily City. I was like a fat Jesse Owens. So thank you for fucking so. God damn it. <laughs> Did you get that on tape, huh? <laughs> but then see, but that was my fault because I was trying to look like a white guy. The white guys love Asian shit. And if you're young, you'll see it, you know what I mean? You're like, oh, she's so excited. You know all that bullshit. Why does always love saying that? Why does always say, oh, she's so excited? All that, that's racist. All that means that she's not white, but I'll still hump her. You know what I mean? It doesn't matter. And, then, and I didn't bring my PowerPoint, you know what I mean? Look at him, he's all, <laughs> he's all, now you're laughing. I shot him in numb, and numb, after women <laughs> Goddamn Kojak. <laughs> white people. I'm a whiteologist on the side. I got a class the learning annex, right? And I study white people. And I know white guys, I go to Japan town, I go to Chinatown, and you guys get the same group of white women. It's the same type of thing. Some ugly Ed Begley Jr. looking white guy. I look like Herman Munster, right? And you guys walk around, this cute girl look like she crafts fortune cookies, right? And, little, and she's there. It's always Chinese on top. You guys love Chinese, I don't know why, because they only weigh like 99 pounds, right? And if you can't get Chinese, you get one of those angry ass Japanese, right? I don't know why, after all them bombs and shit, y'all wanna do that shit. And then, you can't do it, you get one of them big face Koreans, face like a platter, right? You can, you can put a whole steak on there. And if you can't get a Korean or a Japanese, you get the black guy's version of our Chinese chick. They're not the best, they're the clearance sale version. They're called Filipinos, all right? <laughs> No offense, I know you, you know you guys look like no, you guys look like short Hawaiians. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? <laughs> but then there's some Asians that think they're Asians and they're not. I ran into a chick recently. She said she was Samoan, and she said she's Samoan. I was like, that's not really Asian. You know what I mean? That's like if you took every Asian and pushed them together. You know what I mean? Because Samoans, they're the worst group of people ever. Unless you have a defensive line or a club that needs security, that's the only thing you do. The Rock is not even Samoan. He acts like he's black half the time. Because they're worse. Now, because you ever, here's the thing I know about Samoans, is that, number one, uh, they're not attractive. Uh, they're built like a keloid, right? I mean, they're built like a neck bump. You know, this big thing of like, and the men and women look the same. 
They got like backs like a crab, chest like two pork chops, you know what I mean? I think when two swords have sex, they eventually explode, you know what I mean? It's in a sea of ugly. Okay. They're not here, I don't give a shit. They're all, they're all buying black hoodies, you know what I mean? In the summer, right? <laughs> It was my madness, man. It was madness. I don't care. There's no black people in San Francisco. There's not. It's just me, you, uh, 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 whatever, uh, Acura, I don't know what her name is over there. <laughs> and, uh, and it just ended the sister over here. Now I'm a scared of. She won't stab me, right? <laughs> she gets that motherfucker. You look at me. You know what I mean? She just gonna throw a wig at me and go stab me in the eye. You know what I mean? I go, I go do that. I don't mess with you. But there's no black people, man. When there's no black people in a city, white people, first of all, lose your mind. You can say whatever you want, you know what I mean? It don't matter. But then black people, we just start looking for racism all the time. I look for it all the time. I, I do. I, I look for it. I'm looking for it right now. I found it. I and I. He's <laughs> like, I left my hood at home. I know. Uh, <laughs> I'm just with you. I heard Okay. Uh, and I. Uh, you know what? His mom is like, they try to kill black people all the time. They do. They do. They do it with guns. They do it with drugs. But here's the newest one. And this is something that people don't talk about. It's food. They do it with fast food. And you can see that. Like, you ever been to this, like, with chain restaurants? You ever been to a white chain restaurant, like a fast food chain with a white one's great? But the black ones, it's horrible. You know, they gave up on it in the 80s. You know what I mean? It was fucked up. I was in the baby hunter's point. Uh, horrible, horrible way to start your day. <laughs> it's just I woke up getting punched in the face. I'm in line. I was at a KFC. I'm in line. This place was horrible. The ground was all fucked up. There's those bullet holes in the windows. All the girls at the register look like precious, but they like not been as pretty as precious, right? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like a blueberry with a weave on top, right? And they went to Everest dropout, so they messing up your order while eating your food. And I was like, okay, I can't take this. And I and I, I was googling stuff about fast food. You know that they test food on people in these kind of areas. So I know that because they, they said limited, they, the word is limited edition, right? And I knew it because there was a sign that said limited edition, one time only red hot tacos. And I don't know if you've ever seen that taco, but it's a taco with a shell now, red hot Fritos corn chips. And that's, that, I hate those corn chips. Because it's like, because it's not like any regular corn chip. It's made like corn, salt, hot sauce, and it's chemical that makes black people addicted to it. I don't know what it is. We love Red Hots more than freedom. I don't know what it is. I, and it makes us go lose our mind. I turn around, this KFC is going crazy. Black people are jumping around and dancing with these tacos like in Spain. Like two thugs and white beaters like arguing over the last taco. A little black boy had a whole table full and he was like, protecting it like bars of gold or something like that. And I was like, okay, the whole city must be going over going crazy over a 39 cent taco. You know what I mean? No, it wasn't. I was in the marina district 10 hours later. And if you've ever been to the marina, hey, whatever. It's a great place. You love sailing, nice clothes, quiet racism. It's a great place, right? It's great. I'm in line. The place has a chandelier, okay? They had salads, you know what I'm saying? Dasani water, all this shit. I'm at the register. The guy looks like goddamn Zac Efron. I wanted to punch him in the face, right? So I'm at the register. I'm like, uh, hey, his name was Skipper. I don't know why white people want to hear kids Skipper, you know what I mean? Or Unicorn or Chastity. I don't know why. But all you want to do is make a black people punch him in the face, right? This is why. So I'm like, I was like, hey, Skipper. And he's like, what's up, bro? I'm like, oh, God. I was like, uh, and then I was in the baby that KFC you guys used to see the fuck about. And uh, I was in line, and uh, you know these 39 cent tacos, and he looked at me and kind of like how a Mexican does a condom, what are you talking about? I don't know what he's saying, right? <laughs> You get that on tape? All right. And, uh, and this is what I noticed about white people. When white people want to say something messed up or racist to a black person, you got to do two things. First of all, you make sure the coast is clear, right? It's like, no brown people, weird Filipino. Then when the coast is clear, you can say what you want. So I'm like, hey, bro, what's up with those tacos? Where are they? And he looked at me like, dude. Those tacos you speak of, those tacos are for like a select market. And I'm like, uh, Skipper, what the fuck is a select market? And he's like, black people. Right? <laughs> so I uh, explain yourself. He's like, what we do is we test the food out of black people, Mexicans, and like poor white people. <laughs> it, it is what it is, right? And then if you guys like it, we'll just give them to white people. But then if there's like a mistake, like an adverse health reaction, like if a black person dies, <laughs> we'll take it off. You 
You like that, don't you? Huh? You get it all the time, don't you? The little post, I got the cargo shorts on. Huh? Like, uh, they really did, really did good with this one, huh? The red light tan one. Uh, yeah, and then he's like, so I just he, he, so I start getting mad. But when black people get mad, we can start like clapping with our hands to punctuate things the stranger is saying. So I started walking around, so I'm like, so you telling me KFC, Taco Bell, they bring you to see each other the tacos, and you just test them on black people? And he looked at me, he's like, pretty much, you know what I mean? <laughs> All right, yeah, I'm just going to see you when I ready that camera. Now keep that going, because you're in for a real treat. You're gonna love her. This, our next performer, one of my favorites, I love her dearly. Put your hands together for Debbie Lockhart, ladies and gentlemen. Show her some love, come on. Wait, no, for 
for four? Did you say 14? <laughs> no way! Oh my god. You look at least 15 and a half! All right. Oh man, 14! That is... No, no, ah, alright. So, ah, so it's Wednesday. It's Wednesday night. I do not know what I'm in competition with, but, uh, uh, brr, bam, blah, stop it. All right, so this is what's going on. A roller coaster right there. What? what do you know what I'm talking about? Do you? Mm, ah, brr, oh my god, what are they teaching me right now? Oh my god, what are they teaching you in school right now? What are they teaching you? Oh, I want to know. What, are they, what kind of education are you learning? Oh my god, oh my god, I'm sorry. Don't embarrass me in front of, are you in front of your mom right now? Because <laughs> I can read minds. And if your mom is here, this is what he's saying. I'm going to do you right now. <laughs> anyway, did you guys hear that? Because <laughs> I did. He thought, oh my god, I want you. <laughs> right? Oh my god, look at me. <laughs> Alright, so. <laughs> ah, sometimes I talk out loud and it's in my mind, but then it comes out. Right? Oh my god, you two. Oh, so, uh, tell me when, uh, what's the worst thing that you said out loud that you didn't mean that was going on your, in your mind that you didn't mean to say out loud? Harder. Oh! Did you guys hear that? Harder. Harder. And, uh, oh my god, and, uh, did you understand? Oh, mm, alright, so we want, uh, cut off, cut off from that side, or that little portion. Mm -hmm. Have you ever heard that? No, because you know what? 14 year olds cannot get harder. Ah, what? Oh my God, am I in a, uh, huh? Oh, there, you know what? Oh, so, it, not that I've been with 14 year olds. All right, anyway, new subject, bam, oh, ow. Oh, it hurts, so, so uh, uh, <laughs> oh my God, harder. Yeah, it's like, and then the guy's all, I can't. Mm -hmm. It's like, I, I'm trying, mm -hmm. right? Larry, have you ever had that problem? Have you ever said, harder, Larry? <laughs> oh my god, I love it. No. All right, let me know. What have, what do you, what, oh, what thoughts came out of your mind? Uh, oh my god, oh my god, it's dirty. I mean, oh my god. She had like twinkles coming, oh my god, it was special, twinkles coming out. Oh my god, oh my god, Larry, do you want your little wife to tell me what uh, twinkles mean? Do you want, uh, <laughs> oh my god, you were in a TV show, right? Oh my god, it was like a mon monsters, is that? And I'm like, all right. Oh, oh my god, so uh, should I, uh, mm, uh, I don't know who the, mm, 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 mm. all right, so go ahead, shh, okay, cover your ears so you do not hear, all right, what was, what going in your mind that he does not know that you had said out loud? No, stay <laughs> Does it have to do with anything that's wrong? Ooh, oh my god, share. Okay, uh, does it have to do with Uh, something that's bald. <laughs> like a shaved and not hairy. <laughs> Has, does it have something to do that, 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 that grows at an unlimited length? Yes. Oh! <sighs> okay, I don't know about... Uh, oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh man, yeah, Larry. I don't know about you, but I don't think your chain grows. So I, um, I think something else grows. And your, um, um, do you want to know what she has to say about it? Oh, you don't. It's good though. It's not bad. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be good. All right, let's hear it. Tell me. <laughs> Uh, uh, but uh, eh, how 
how many men, by a round of applause, how many men here have a limb that makes a noise? <laughs> Larry did not know this, but yours does. <laughs> and, uh, oh my god. Mm, and, did I lose you? Did I lose you? Oh, don't come back. Come back. Bam. Shh, don't look away. All right, no, maybe you can't. That's all right. All right. Are you ready? All right, so this is where the... This is... Are you, are you okay? Are you upset? I don't want to upset... Alright, I, that's what I hate when I like upset people. I don't want to upset anyone. I was like, oh my god, she wants it harder, and then, go, and then you go home, and then you say, yes, you want it harder, and then you go upset. And I don't want to, I don't want to bring upsetness to relationships. I want to bring excitement. What's that flavor? So this is my, oh, it's like I go to these clubs and I dance, and it's like, I don't want to dance to a song that's telling me to break up, or that says that we're no longer together. I want to go to it club and dance to a song that says let's get together let's do it let's make this happen <laughs> so if there are any singer songwriters out there i want you guys to know this is the lyric these are the lyrics that you should be writing these are the lyrics you should be writing all right you should be getting a song together that brings people closer and girls really like to hear this you and i you and i I'm gonna make love later on. <laughs> we like that term. We don't like anything other than bang, bang, Buddha. You and I, you and I, we are not going to have a one night stand. <laughs> no, no. You and I, you and I, what we're gonna do is gonna turn into a relationship. <laughs> you and I, you and I, what we're gonna do is gonna happen into marriage. We are gonna get married. Me and you, we're gonna have many, many babies. They're gonna look like you and me. And maybe this family. <laughs> Let's do this. Sorry, right. uh, Debbie Lockhart. Go to my website, debbielockhart.com. Thanks a lot. Thanks, to Al. Thanks, Paul. Al, 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 all right. Give it up for Al, you guys. Al, please. Give me go, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my god, I love her. And why are you doing that? What are you grinning for? <laughs> See, I told you, didn't I? Was I wrong? I told you you'd love her. Yeah, she's very talented. Profiles in Comedy is the funny new show brought to you by T Radio V. Shot live at Tommy T's Showroom and Steakhouse in San Francisco. Every week, the nation's best up-and-coming comedians will keep you laughing with fresh new routines and hilarious takes on society. You hipster kids look all the fucking same. You think you're special, but you're not. You walk around in your little tight pants, right? Little ironic t-shirt, little sideways hit their haircut. They'll keep you coming back for more. Check out these funny people. T Radio V Radio in TV Radio in TV uh.